What's going on, Grand Star Legion? It's your boy, CDROM 1019, and baby, I was born this way. Alright, we're continuing. It's time to get into the nitty-gritty. No more boring prologue, no more tutorials, no more slow story. We're diving hip-deep into the story of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, Chapter 1, Castle and Dragon. Let's begin. Here we are, Pedal Metals. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick save right over here. Okay, let's get to it. Well, that can't be right. We've only taken five steps and we're already in day. Oh my gosh, it's a dragon. We look up and we see Hooktail flying to the castle in the distance. Gee, I can only imagine that's where the star must be. <coughs> Alright, let's get to it. So, unfortunately we can't go straight to the castle yet. So we're gonna hang out and just kinda go forward and gather some information. Whoops, kind of missed the first strike there, that's okay. Alright, so, at first glance, this guy's got a Sleepy Sheep, and I don't want him to use that, so we're going to knock him out first. Ooh. There we go. Super guarding is hard. Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, well... What you just... Wow. That is bad. What you just uh, experienced was uh, the bingo reel, and we missed it. Bingo reels are, are very helpful in certain instances like that, but only kind of when you hit them and you need a health boost. You know, maybe I should have done that tutorial because that would have done a guaranteed... Uh, a guaranteed slot reel boost, and that would have uh, brought people to the crowd. Alright, so I got a close call badge. I'm going to turn that on right now. That's uh, one of the one of the few badges I'm actually going to need to make Danger Mario work uh, the way that I want it to. Take this pipe real quick. Oh, actually, that's not helpful right now. I need to come back to that pipe later. Remember, I'm kind of just attacking everything that moves. I could use those EXP points. I might use a sweet treat soon. Uh, might, might not. One more thing, you don't know, just, yeah. Kubella tells us if we don't know what to do, we can just talk to her. <clears throat> All 
Alright. Alright, now we finally got our first level up. So, you're probably thinking, well, you know, you're probably sitting here thinking, well, he's obviously going to go for HP because he needs it the most. You'd be wrong! We're going to go straight for some badge points because we need them! We're going to need these for a lot of things. Um, believe it or not, health is one of the very few things I'm going to be upgrading. I'm going to go this way for a second because I think that... Well, I'm wrong. I could have sworn that over this way there was a star piece. It's probably the other way. Or all the way on the other side. That turns the bridge on. Now I can cross the river. Yep, there's a star piece. I'm gonna need a couple of those. I think, um... I'm trying to remember. I think that, uh... Uh, I think that there was something important I need, might need to buy with those star pieces. So I'm going to be looking around for those here and there um, and hope we find them all. Well, maybe not all of them, but I hope we find a decent amount of them. And this should take us to, Petal to Petalburg. This Koopa here says, hey, nice to meet you, welcome to Petalburg. We haven't seen people here in a long time, ever since Dragon, the uh, Hooktail was seeing people flying around, we don't get visitors. That must be what we saw earlier. We're looking for the Crystal Stars, he says he's never heard of them. But uh, if anyone has, then uh, the mayor probably has, and he lives in a hideous looking pink house. This guy, we're going to see a lot. Hey, there's General White. I wonder what he has to say. He's lost his hope and dreams. He lives in solitudes, but he wants to be left alone. Okay, well, bye, General White. We'll see him again later. Alright, there's a close call P badge there. Er, no, that's a... I don't remember what badge that is, but we can't get it yet. We'll come back to it later. Here's the mayor. He's like, oh, the mayor says he's getting robbed. No, that's not right. Nothing to steal. Take my money. Take the shell. Just leave the photos. Says we're not thieves. You're looking for the crystal stars. Tells us that Hooktail's got what we need. Uh, you know, Hooktail, yes, we know. We've heard Hooktail. Are we going to rough it up? Yes, we are. Uh, you, you won't accept a reward? Probably not. What did you say your name was? Murphy? Uh, no, it's Mario. Uh, okay, well, anyway, he can't get our name right, but he tells us that we need two keys to get to the, tr to the castle. And we can only get those keys by going to Schwag Fortress. Oh, look at that, we've got an email. Let's check what email we got. Our DM registration. Mario has been registered with the Rogueport Direct Mail Service. Frank, by Frankly. Uh, so occasionally we'll get um, we'll get a magazine. Uh, and this is an email from Frankly telling us that uh, uh, we should check our email often and that he's uh, sent us. He's basically got us registered with our DM. So cool. Cool guy, frankly. Hey, buddy. How's it going here? We need to go to Schwung Fortress. Yes, the mayor said we can go. So he opens the gate for us. And here's Koops. Koops is kind of a little bit of a coward, but he wants to talk to us. He says uh, he hears we're traveling to the castle. He's got a favor. But he can't seem to manage the words, so we're going to go without him for now. To Schwung Fortress. I'm gonna hit these trees on occasion because I think one of them, one of them will drop something. Hey, buddy. Ah, missed. 
Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna have some Bella tattle on this Koopa here. That's Troopa. It's been around forever. It's a cool looking Koopa Troopa. She says we gotta flip it over to do some damage to it. Whoops! Eh, that's alright. What? Shy guy, what are you doing? Ow! That wasn't nice. Alright. Nope, nothing. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm gonna wanna check these bushes every so often too. If one of them might have something. Nope, nothing there. I'm sorry if this is boring for a lot of people just seeing me battle over and over again, but like I said, uh, early RPG tactics attack everything that moves. You could use all the star points you can get. Wow. I don't know how I missed that. Courage shell. Um, eventually, we should find... Uh, I, I gotta remember where to get it, but eventually we should get a refund item. That'll be pretty helpful. A refund badge, rather. Nothing there. Okay. Alright, we want to go through here. But, to get through there, we're gonna have to battle these guys. I meant to hit him with a hammer, but I missed. That's okay. Alright, Goombelle's gonna tell me what's going on here. That's a ball cleft. They have high defense, so we can only hurt them by hitting them with a hammer. Actually, I take that back. We can only hurt them by knocking them over, isn't that what it is? Uh, also super guarding, but super guarding's hard. Um, so we're just gonna use this pow block. To do any damage to them, we've got to knock them over. Um, I don't remember exactly how we do that. We should also be able to super guard them too. We're going to face some more in the next uh, chamber over this way. Oh, that wasn't... that was not a great move. We're gonna knock uh, both these Koopas down so that they lose a turn. We can't hurt that one, because he's got a defense boost, but we can hurt this one. Well, okay. Kinda missed, but that's alright. Alright, poison roulette's on. We don't want this, so we're gonna try and miss that on purpose. <laughs> hey, I'll take that courage shell. 
could have sworn there was a star piece around here somewhere. Boy, I'll take that. Pretty sure there was a star piece somewhere behind the map. They're always hidden. Always where you don't want them to be. He's gonna throw a courage shell at me, so I will happily take that. somewhere. Oh, hey, a pow block. I actually need that. Alright, in we go. Oh, yeah, we absolutely need it for these guys. These guys we cannot get close to, so we definitely need to use this pow block. Yep, so much for that. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna have Goombella Tattle. Uh, it's a Bristle, they're covered in spikes, so prickly. Match XP is two, attack is one, defense is four, and they're impervious to fire. Cannot jump on them, and they we cannot hammer them, so we will just use this Pow Block instead. And they're dead. And we're halfway to another level up. Still checking the bushes for items and for star pieces. Having a little trouble there, buddy? See if we can super guard this. Yep. <coughs> All right. A lot of fire flowers. Hey, there's an in card. That'll be uh, kind of helpful. Get to stay in an inn for free one night. Come on. Depth perception, ladies and gentlemen. Gotta love when that happens. Alright, come on. Okay, so there's a heal box there, but I'm gonna ignore it because I don't think I need it just yet. I'd also like to save my coins for now, but we will save on the off chance that I did kind of need that. And we're gonna meet the schwonk here. says, hey, you're the first people here to come get the stone keys in a while. If that's the case, we want the stone keys, then we need to, uh, we need to, uh, compete. So we'll take him on. But, we appear to be competing in a game show. It's the 65th Super Fun Quirk Quiz. Alright, first question. What's hidden in this place the stone keys are? Yes. says the questions get harder from here. 
Question two, what does Mr. Softener and one fire flower cost the shop in Pelbert? Uh, I'm not certain about that, but I believe it's about 12 coins. Well, I'm wrong. I didn't stop to look, so I don't know. <laughs> That's okay. These other questions we can answer. What is the name of the mayor in Pedalburg? That is Mayor Croup. Question four. Where is the Crystal Star? It's in Hopetail's castle. Get to Petal, Bird, Petal Metals, two rogue port, go through a pipe. And one more question. Which of the following creatures have hands? That would be Koopa Troopas. And that's five correct answers. So he lost. And according to the rules, he must acquiesce. I think we can still talk to him, but he... Oh, no. Guess not. All right, let's go down this pipe. Let's get ourselves these stone keys. Now, unfortunately, in these pipes, there's a lot of these... Uh, we'll go this way first. Why not? There's a lot of fuzzies down in these pipes. And yes, they are very obnoxious. They have a max, max of three, defense of one. Super guarding against this is uh, really hard to time. Um, so I'm just gonna try a normal guard instead. That is difficult. I remember it being a little simpler. Oh, we got a bonus chance. Let's see if we can hit this. Oh, darn. There we go. Sunstone. And we're getting ambushed. Okay, we're gonna want to take this one out first. Whoops! Oh, that's bad. Oh, please don't use that fire flower. Okay, I didn't use the fire flower. I'll attack this one first. Well, that, you know, that was a bad idea. 
Ugh. If only. Wow. Okay, I accidentally moved the stick before I wanted to. So I might get hit with that fire flower. Oh, okay, we're lucky. That's very fortunate. Oh, hey, the close call kicked in. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> I'll make... I'll be one star point shy of an upgrade. Okay, we got everything here. So now let's go get the other one. You may notice me jumping a lot, that's just so I can move faster through here. In fact, I'll go up here so I don't get weighed down by the water. Alright, after this battle, we will be able shoot, to, uh... To, uh, to up, uh, to get a level up. Alright. We gotta level up, which means we get healed. Guess what we're still not going to upgrade? That's right, we're not going to upgrade our health. We're going to do a once, well, one of uh, two time upgrades to flower points. And then for the foreseeable future, we will be upgrading uh, strictly our badge points. And uh, I got news for you. If you think this is cringy as it stands, we're going to be, uh, later on in the game, we're going to be removing five more hit points. So Mario will be at five hit points only. Here's our Moonstone. And we're gonna get ambushed one more time. Okay. Now, given that there's two HP drains on the field, I'm just gonna make this battle simple on myself and use this Fire Flower. I didn't want to take the chance that they would be able to use those HP drains. That would have been very bad for me. Uh, anything over this way? No, okay. Let's go back to the pipe. And I believe there's going to be a golden fuzzy waiting for us. Yep, there he is. Says this is our territory and we busted in here. Alright, we're gonna have Bella give us the details on this guy. Gold Fuzzy, they're super rare. Max HP is 10, attack is 1, defense is 0. Alright. Let's beat the living daylights out of them. And he immediately calls for reinforcements. Gotta pay attention so we can guard against those. Alright, we're gonna we're just gonna keep uh 
keep hammering away at this gold fuzzy here. One more power smash out of knock him. Well, I can't do that. All right, so we're gonna just gonna jump on him then. Hey, we super guarded him. That's cool. Let's knock him out. And they're all gone. Bye! Okay, so long, suckers. Well, let's leave. Alright, we got what we came here for, so now let's head all the way... Let's save first, actually, and head all the way back to Petalburg. Free hit in there. Whoops. We didn't need it. halfway up to another upgrade. Okay, um, let's see. I really don't feel like fighting these guys, so I'm gonna just use another one of these fire flowers. It's alright, we come across them pretty easily. Turned out I had to fight them anyway, but that's alright. Thanks for the pow block. Almost back, Pedalberg. Oh, wow. 
Oh, yep, knew that was coming. This isn't uh, too boring for anybody. I know this is a lot of the same thing right now, but it's, like I said, very good to get a lot of early XP when you can grab it. Uh, the way that this playthrough works, the more um, you know, experience, the better. You will absolutely see why, as long as I continue to do it correctly. But in any case, we make it back to Petal Meadow and or Petal Petalburg rather, and this is going to be a uh, short stop in Petalburg for us. We're going to go right through and head out to head back out to Petal Meadows and make our way to Hooktail Castle. All right, this time Coops is waiting for us on the outside of Petalburg. Says he's been waiting here to speak with us. He tells us, he was wondering, he tell he was wondering if he would take us with him. Or take him with us, rather. Wow. I can't speak today. Mm -hmm. Says his dad went to Hooktail Castle to fight Hooktail, never made it back. And he, uh, he wants to go and finish Hooktail for his dad and for everybody living in fear of Hooktail. He wants to do it for himself so that he can be stronger. Sure, we'll take him along. Alright, Poops join the party. We're gonna make some decent use of Coops. Coops can sh we can do a shell toss with Coops. Useful to hit switches far away. Cool thing about Coops is that he can spin in place once we do a shoot toss, and uh, we can let him go. with us. We're about to leave. And then Koopy, uh, Koopy says hi to us. He says, I thought you were about to fight Cooktail. He's like, you're not exactly a powerhouse. He says, I want to be stronger for you. Koopy isn't happy about Koops' decision to leave. <coughs> but she'll get over it. And with that, we're on our way. So with a new partner comes a whole new move set. Koops' shell toss and power shell are helpful for hurting for hitting a bunch of enemies at once. Uh, he also has a different set of stylish moves. That stuff we'll all get to see later. All right, we're back at full health. I'm gonna go up. Uh, we're gonna go down this pipe so we can get that badge. It's very. Very helpful to get this badge right here. Alright, we're going to equip that because uh, we have very little health and we're going to want something that will heal us. Also turn the multi-bounce on. Yep. 
Well, I was trying to do a shell toss, but I couldn't get it right. All right, so let's uh, we we're finding some paragoombas here, and as you've noticed, uh, they're on they're up there, so Coops can't really do anything here, so we're just gonna have them defend. Oops! Oh! Okay, that's what happens when you mash buttons. It's uh, very important you don't do that. Ten points away from another upgrade. I think there was a... Yep, there was. Four points away from an upgrade. <laughs> Alright, and just like that we're back where we started, but with the Sunstone and the Moonstone in hand. Put them in place, and then these two switches open up. The trick. There's these two switches here. I already know what that inscription says, but there's a switch here, and there's a switch over here, and we need to hit them both. Koops' ability makes that really easy. And now that we've hit both those switches at the same time, the pipe to Hooktail Castle emerges. And then we'll take this pipe into Hooktail Castle, Actually, really quick, let's make sure we're not forgetting anything over this way. It tends to be stuff like star pieces over in this direction. No? Nothing? Well, that's a waste. Alright. Alright, let's take a save right here. Don't need to heal just yet. We're gonna go up here. <coughs> There's the door to Hooktail Castle. The bridge is out, so we can only get there by taking this up here. And just like that, we're at the door. All right, I've held your guys' attention for about 45 minutes now, so this is a good place to stop. When we come back, we'll enter Hooktail Castle, and we'll uh, go through and confront the Mighty Dragon and claim our first Crystal Star. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out all the rest of the videos on the Grand Star Legion YouTube channel, and check out the YouTube Rangers forums. And until next time, I'm Senior on 1019 and I will see you next video. Bye-bye.